Playing around with material nodes can be really, really super cool, uh, and that's exactly what we're doing today. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again. Um, I have this, I have a, this, this little twisted Taurus all set up. I have no idea what uh, this could be used for, but today we're making this material right here. Uh, so let's get started really quickly. I'm going to move that out of the way so we have, so we can see better, better what we're doing with our uh, object select. I'm going to hit new and in cycles render, of course, because we're using nodes. We're going to get rid of the default diffuse texture. I'm going to add in a glossy texture first one out the bat that's going right into the surface and I'm gonna change that color to uh, let's go with like a sea foamy kind of color I guess it looks pretty cool right um, so we'll add that in and we'll change the roughness to 0 0.01 and 0 0.05 yeah 0 0.05 um, that looks pretty good and I'm gonna add in instantly once again a shader mix shader we're gonna mix that with a da, 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 a transparent shader and we're gonna plug that right there in the bottom now we have a bit of transparency going on with our uh with our factor up here we're going to add in an input fresnel where is it a fresnel we're going to add that on in into the factor right there so now we have some really weird looking cool stuff going on a bit of transparency a bit of reflectiveness um we got some really crazy things happening um, from there, I want to add in another mix shader, so we'll duplicate the mix shader, hitting Shift D, Shift and D on my keyboard right there. Plug this mix shader into the volume. So we mix the glossy and the transparent together, and then now we have me holding this is like holding both of the glossy and the transparent shaders, and then we plug that into the surface so we can see it. Now we're adding in the mix shader, and this mix shader is going to be volume absorption and volume scatter. So we're going to take both of those, and if you're familiar with my uh, volumetric lighting tutorial that we did a while back uh, we did the same thing for this so I'm gonna plug that in into the uh, top and the volume scatter into the bottom and what this is gonna do is gonna give us a bit of smoky light kind of quality so if I plug in if I plug in just the glossy here you should be able to see that we have um, some, some a little bit of smoke stuff going on if I change the density and turn the density all the way down or all the way up um, what we're gonna have here is if I plug Da, 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 da. If I change the color here, let's change the color first. Change that to like a little bit of a blue, I guess, and maybe like a reddish a little bit. Um, and as you can tell, we didn't nothing nothing's happening. And the reason for this is because if I plug in the transparent, uh, no, well, no, let's not do the transparent. That's a bad example. Uh, let's unplug the Fresno and then plug the surface back in. As you can see, we have that little bit of. Um, that little bit of transparency going on from the transparent shader here and with our volume if i plug the volume these these two into the surface nothing will happen and the reason for that is because they're not surface nodes they only affect the density of the object um so the way this will work if i turn the density up to 0.5 you can see we have some stuff going on there now um and the density of the volume scatter to 0.5 as well um, now we have that little bit of red and the blue in there, if you saw that, and then we'll turn this one up to 0.7. Um, so we have a little bit of uh, transparency going on there with the with the smoky like kind of quality inside there. We might even turn that density up to one for the volume absorption. Um, that looks pretty good, and then we'll plug the Fresnel back in. Um, so that looks pretty good. And instead of adding some stuff I was going to do, I'm going to duplicate the mix shader once again and, and plug that into the surface. So now we have um, we have to move these down because we need some space. Um, I'm going to plug the, the mix shader, duplicate shift D, of course, and, uh, and put that right after the second mix shader, that, the first mix shader that we had. I'm going to add in some subsurface scattering. Why not? Just do some cool stuff. Um, and with the subsurface scattering, we'll change the scale down to 0.3. And we'll change the color to maybe a bluish like that to kind of combat that little bit of green that we had in there earlier. Uh, maybe we'll change the scale down even more from that. We'll change it to uh, 0.6. Do 0.6. Yeah, the 0.6 is probably going to be fine. Um, and with our with our uh, settings for our subsurface scattering, we're gonna change this to uh, Gaussian instead of what it was on. All right, so we have some pretty cool stuff going on now. I'm going to add in 
a few more things. We're going to add in a velvet in between the subsurface scattering and um, and the, uh, the, the mix shader here. So I'm going to add that in. And what we're going to do is I'm going to turn the sigma down just a little bit. Not too much, though. Just maybe about half. Maybe that is at four. Almost, it's almost four. Might as well just make it fully four. Uh, 0.4 for the sigma. And then we will add in uh, some displacement modifiers really quickly before this tutorial is ended. So in the displacement surface, pretty much all of the volume is just saying, hey, what's inside of that? As you can tell, it got a little less thick in there. Uh, the volume is pretty much just the makeup of the object. Um, and these these two nodes didn't they don't they don't do much. It's just a little bit of a subtle hint that we have in there. And then uh, the surface nodes, of course, we I explained all of those already. And the subsurface scattering is pretty much just taking the object and letting light pass through it. If you look at your hand, uh, like if you hold it up to the sun or a light, you should be able to see through it a little bit. Um, and uh, and that is subsurface scattering. So we have that going on. And it's being able to see through our object a little bit through the thinner parts. The thicker parts you won't be able to see through as much, like your palm. Um, but that little webbing in between your fingers, a little tiny bit, you should be able to see that a lot. And that's what we have on the edges here. Um, and the velvet just helps accentuate some of the edges. As you can tell, if I disconnect that, the edges kind of get lost and it kind of changes the feel of it. This more feels more like a, like a, a shiny object and then we add the velvet in and it feels more like the, uh, the effect I was going for, which I have no idea what it is. It's just uh, making some cool materials. So... Uh, really quickly, I want to add in some displacement modifiers. We're going to hit Add, Texture, and we're going to go and we're going to add in a Voronoi Texture, which is always one of my favorites. Plug that into the displacement, and now we have uh, some really weird, like, uh, choppy kind of things, I suppose. Um, and I'm going to change that um, because I don't like the way that looks. So we're going to change that from Intensity to Cells. And instantly, we should be able to see that we have, like, some cracks. And it looks like uh, really cracked up material, which is really nice. And we're going to change the scale, make that bigger so there's less cracks. Um, and I think ooh, we change that to 1.2. Change it to 1.2 and get rid of just that big giant crack there. Maybe maybe we'll even go 1.7. Yeah, I'm changing my mind a little bit here, but we'll do just the noise and then we'll mix the noise. Um, we'll, we'll we will duplicate that. We'll put the noise on top this time. We'll put the noise with a um. Uh, let's do a wave texture. Yeah, oh, no, even better yet, we'll do a Musgrave texture. I love the Musgrave texture. Um, so we'll add in a Musgrave texture right beneath the noise texture. Boom. And uh, with both of those, let's set, up the, let's set up the noise texture first. So let's grab that bad boy um, and change the detail, maybe the distortion to like 2 or something like that. Change the noise texture to like uh, the, the, the scale for like to like 5. The detail, maybe we'll even go higher. We'll go 10. Um I think I like the way that looks right there. Um, just a little bit of wave in there. Um, instead of mixing them together, we can just add the Musgrave texture into the scale. We'll add the Musgrave texture into the scale and make it even crazier. Um, so we'll do a scale of like 2, the detail 5, the dimension 6, and uh, we'll just add some random numbers for this right here. We'll go 2.45 and the gain to like 0.7. Um, so that looks pretty good. Uh, I think that's going to be it for our entire material tutorial today. I'm going to turn the dimension down to two. Eh, yeah, maybe two. Yeah, two looks better. Um, all right, so that's going to be it for our material tutorial today. Just a crazy random, to, uh, cra crazy random uh, material. Um, so that is going to be that. I hope you guys enjoyed making this material. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. If you did, don't forget to leave a comment of what you think the next tutorial should be. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, bye.